Okay, everybody, the major question is, is whose side are you on? Okay, so we see that Captain America Civil War comes out in May. They just released a ton of promotional artwork, and I'm just going to take a look at two pieces of that promotional artwork to kind of say, hey, did they just name the teams? Well, check it out. You've got Team Iron Man, composed of Iron Man, War Machine, uh, The Vision, Black Widow, and Black Panther. Now, that's surprising to me because Black Widow is pretty much hand-in-hand -hand working as a partner with Captain America, so I would think that she would have been on Captain America's squad. Also, throwing this out there, Black Panther was also rumored to be a neutral character who was there for his own needs and mission and wouldn't side with anybody during the Civil War. But to see him promoted on the Iron Man team photo or picture, however you want to call it, kind of brings me to mind, hmm, they got some brain and bronze on the Iron Man side. Now let's take a good look at Team Captain America. All right, Team Captain America is composed of Ant-Man, who we knew was going to be on Captain America's side at the end credits of the Ant-Man movie when Falcon said, I know a guy. Now, being that said, we all know Falcon and Captain America will both be on Captain Am Team Captain America. Also, that Falcon gets a new cybernetic companion, meaning he has a remote control drone type bird, which is in the comic books, a real Falcon known as Red Wing, that he'll be bringing into to make him a little closer to what he is actually in the comic book. Now, for Team Captain America, we also get Hawkeye. Hawkeye, who is a known partner of Black Widow on numerous S.H.I.E.L.D. missions, everybody keeps bringing up Budapest. I want to know what went down in Budapest, okay, with, as I said, Ant-Man sitting on his shoulder. Hopefully we could get an iconic comic book cover recreated in the movie. Mark my words, if they do it, you heard it here first on Going Full Nerd. They're going to hook it up, I hope. And then hopefully it doesn't end up on the cutting room floor. Next, we got um, the Winter Soldier, Bucky, who eventually we knew was going to come around and end up on Captain America's team. That's something that we wish and hope and we know that he'll be good. Now, we had a couple of throwback images in Captain America the Winter Soldier when he caught the shield and he held Captain America's shield to kind of reflect on what happened in the comic books when Bucky took over the mantle of Captain America at a certain point. But maybe because of high influence in comic books, we might get that kind of view from Falcon. We might not know. One way or the other, it can go. Now, this is the surprising character for me. Agent 13, Sharon Carter. This is the great-granddaughter or grandniece or something to Peggy Carter. I forgot how they explained it for the movies, but this is the thing. She's going to be Captain America's new love interest if they follow the comic book. And with the hints subtly thrown when Black Widow was trying to get him to take her out on a date in the last Captain America film. So that was surprising to see her brought to the forefront especially in a big, superhero-heavy laden movie like this. So you've got the heavy muscle power and technology and intelligence of Team Iron Man against the stealth, cunning, and patriotism of Team Captain America. Which side are you going to choose? Noticeably missing from any of this promotional art is Hulk, who we last saw flying off into the middle of the ocean in a stolen Quinjet, Thor, who we saw heading up to Asgard because of the dreams he had in the last Avengers movie brought on by the Scarlet Witch, and Scarlet Witch, who we know was filming, you know, Miss Olsen, filming with the rest of the crew, but makes me wonder how they killed off Quicksilver in Avengers. Are they going to make her meet a early demise in the uh, Captain America film, or is she going to make it all the way to the Infinity War films of the Avengers? Also noticeably missing 
is the brand new teenage Spider-Man. Will Spider-Man be impressed by the money, status, and Hollywood stylings of Tony Stark and Team Iron Man? Or will Spider-Man feel patriotism and with great power comes great responsibility with Team Captain America? Not sure? Inside the comments below, next to your choice of what team you want to be on, tell me, where do you think Spider-Man will end up? Team Cap or Team Iron Man? So hey, that's my quick little Civil War comic book spurt. I'll get back with you next time on Going Full Nerd.